So today I wanted to talk to you about how to go about looking at the trends and determining the trends of stock or an index, even a bond, and what three things you need to consider looking at. And this is, when you find the process to apply to your investment selection process, if it's from a trading standpoint or a a uh, long-term intermediate standpoint or, or just long, long-term standpoint, it's important to understand that there are other elements in the world that are affecting that movement of the stock price. And I've narrowed it down to really three areas that can give me a basis of where a stock is, stock or investment is going, where the short-term, long-term uh, trend is, and should I be in it or should I not be in it? Um, I couple this process with my fundamental process, which is coupled with my macro process of what are we at in the business cycle. So today we're just going to talk about how I'm selecting positions, uh, how I'm selecting where to enter a position uh, going forward. So there's really three areas that I'm focused on. There's price, there's volume, and there's volatility. All right, so price, that is the price movement of that position, that uh, investment. And, and, and a lot of people just look at it from the standpoint of well, what's the price to earnings ratio or, or the price to um, uh, book or price to sales or that kind of thing. What I have found is uh, price is just one of three factors, one of the three factors that I'm looking at. Um, the second factor is volume. Volume is a really big indicator of if there's commitment to the position, into buying that position, if institutions are buying into it, or if they're selling it. Are they dumping this position? Are they getting out? Um, so you, you look at the price movement of a position, and if you see the pricing price going down, and you see the volume going up, and then third, volatility. If you see its related volatility index going up, it's a bad time to get in position. Okay, and here's why to think of it this way. Volatility is a leading indicator to the um, behavior, the emotion of, of, the, of that market. And so, for instance, I use the VIX, the VXN, um, and, uh, and then a couple others for a couple of different commodity positions. But the fix represents the, is the volatility index for the S&P 500, right? So I couple that with this type of uh, stocks or investments I want to, that have the same category. Maybe, um, you know, that uh, stock is in uh, the S&P 500. Well, the volatility index of the S&P 500, the VIX, V-I-X, will give me an indication of what the overall sediment uh, if, of that position, of, of where that index is going, my, and along with coupling that with the volume and price. So if I'm seeing prices fall on a position and I'm seeing the volume going up, up over and above, I see a rate of change that is drastic going up in volume, and then I see the rate of change in volatility going up, I know this is a bad time to buy that position. And most likely the institutions, the smart money, as uh, most refer to it, is getting out of that position. So I don't want to be buying. There's no way to be buying that position. There's just, it's just not a good thing. Um, you're going to lose money. You're going to sink pretty quick. If you're trading it, you know, short-term trading, that's one thing. You, you just don't want to fight the volume. You don't want to fight the volatility. You just don't want to fight the price. So, in that category where the price is going down and the volume is going up over and above the previous uh, trading days, volume is way up and the volatility is going up, it's a no-go. You just wait, just wait it out. Now, when a, buy a buying opportunity presents itself, it has the uh, three ingredients I'm looking for. One, the price is dropping, okay? So people are selling out of it. Yet the volume is also dropping in comparison to the previous trading uh, periods and times. If you're a short-term trader, you're looking at the last, you know, 
I, I look at things in threes. Um, so three days, three weeks, three months, three years, so on and so forth. Um, so if I see the price go down, I'm seeing the volume go down, uh, and then the volatility is also going down. Okay, so when I see the VIX drop below 26 and stay below 26, and I see the volume in that position drop, and I see the price action drop also, I know this is going to be a good time to start looking at buying this position. This is a buying opportunity because when volume drops, along with the stock dropping and the volatility is dropping, it means a lot of the selling is out of the way. Okay. Selling's out of the way, and now I can safely start to enter this position. I dollar cost average into this position. I didn't go 100%, okay? I don't go 100%, I just dollar cost average into it, okay? And if you're more of an intermediate trader or investor or a long-term investor, you're buying this company you believe in because you think it's going to change the world. It's going to map a whole new direction and how we live and we do things. So I'm just dollar cost averaging into this position. And so managing my allocation is very important, but also risk managing it also is much, much more important. All right, when is a bull market? This is when I see prices going up, I see volume going up, and I see volatility going down. So if I see, use the S&P 500 as an example, if I see the price on the S&P 500 go up and I see the volume also increasing, but I see the volatility index, the VIX, go below 26 and keep going towards the teens, I'm in a bull market. And that's from a immediate, intermediate or long-term investing standpoint, that can be a great place to be in the market and capitalize, okay? So, you can apply these, the volatility type indexes to the VX, to the NASDAQ 100. That volatility index is the VXN. I do the same thing. So looking at where these positions are trading on price, volume, and volatility, it gives me a really good place to know when not to enter, when to enter, and when to heavy, you know, increase my allocation in a bull market environment. So let's just quickly review. I'm looking at price, volume, and volatility. I'm in a bad, terrible time to buy a position is when the price is going down, the volume is going up, and the volatility is going up, meaning people are just getting out of the way. Like back when we saw in uh, back in March of 2020, right? We saw volatility go through the roof on the VIX. We saw volume go up, and we saw price action go way, way down. Not the time to get in. Buying opportunity. Price is going down. The volume is going down. And the volatility is also going. And third, bull market. This is when you just load up and you, you've been dollar cost averaging in and now you put the final uh, allocation amount in. This is when price is going up, the volume is going up, and volatility is going down. So that's how you go about looking to enter a position. If you have any other questions about this, please feel free to reach out to me. I've left my contact information at the bottom, but this is how I go about looking at buying my positions that I've already done my macro and my fundamental research on. I coupled that with a little techno technical analysis. So good luck, good trading, be safe, be smart, risk management.